Well, a very good afternoon from Phuket and as you can see it has been another beautiful day here on the island. Blue skies, very warm and on today's video we're going to be taking a look at an area known as Nahar. So stay right there and I will be right back after this. I'm in Neham Park which is situated right behind the beach. Now we're not going to be looking at the beach area. If you haven't seen Neham Beach before then I will link a previous video that I did at the top of the screen now. So go check that out. That will give you an idea of this area. But what I want to do today is take a look at the area known as Neham. The more town part of it if you want to call it a town now that's roughly about two kilometers from here I did a quick search on YouTube and I couldn't really find any videos that actually covered Nahal there's plenty of videos that cover the beach and the adjacent area in fact I've done one myself which again I will link at the top of the screen go take a look at that if you're going to be staying in this area because Nahal offers a great beach but there is a lot more to Nahal than just the beach in fact it offers a great range of hotels restaurants plenty of bars to chill out in in the evening. Whilst there is accommodation around the beach area, you are fairly limited when it comes to shops and restaurants. There's a few, but not too many. Most of the shops and restaurants you're going to find in the main Neham area. However, Neham itself is often overlooked as a destination, and I'm not quite sure why, because it's more reasonably priced than places such as Patong. So let's now go and take a look at Neha. Well, we are currently travelling along Soi Sayuan, heading towards Neha, coming from the direction of Shillong. Personally, I feel that a lot of people could be put off staying in the Neha area simply because it's spread out and it doesn't really seem to have a centre point as such. And at times, it can be difficult to know where Neham actually starts and finishes. Now, it's my opinion that Neham starts around here. However, at this point, we are approximately four kilometers from the beach. If you decide to stay in this part of Neham, then you are really going to need your own transport. Of course, if you're coming over to Phuket and you intend to hire some type of transport, whether it be a car, motorbike, scooter, or even a push bike, then I would consider staying in this area because if you have your own transport, then of course traveling around is no problem. However, if you need to travel via taxis, then going backwards and forwards to either the beach or the shops, depending on where you stay, could work out to be very expensive. Fortunately, there are plenty of hire shops where you are going to be able to hire a scooter, motorbike or car. Now I've just called into this hire shop and spoke to the lady owner because it's the first one that I've seen with push bikes, bicycles for hire and she's informed me that the bicycles are 100 baht per day or 500 baht for one week which I think is a great alternative if you don't want to hire a scooter or a car for whatever reason then these bicycles make an ideal cheap way of getting around Nahar I've actually just noticed this place here. I didn't know to any places that actually rented these sidecars and scooters out, but I've just noticed one in Nahon. So I'm gonna pop into the shop and just inquire how much these are. Okay, well, I've just been speaking to the lady owner about these sidecars because this is the very first time I've actually seen these for hire. As you know, if you watch my channel regular, you will know I've got one of these myself. We use it to take shadow a walk. A subscriber asked me some time ago about renting one of these and I hadn't seen anywhere, but I've been speaking to the lady. If you want to rent one of these for just one day, it will cost you 400 baht a day. If you want to rent it for one week, the price then drops to 350 a day. And if you want to rent it for one month, the price is 9,000 baht per month. Anybody that's looking to rent one of these, maybe you've got a family, you, you don't want to rent a scooter on its own, they would be ideal for some children to sit in while you ride along. And they're, of course, they're a lot more stable than a scooter, a little bit easier to ride. 
We are now situated just over one kilometre away from the beach on a road called the 4030. Now this road doesn't seem to have a name on Google Maps. However, we are heading towards the main part of Nahalm, otherwise known as Nahalm Town. And as you can see, already we are coming across some restaurants and shops. Lots and lots of restaurants to choose from in Nahar. In fact, you're actually spoiled for choice. Nice pizza restaurant there. It's got some good reviews as well on Facebook, I've noticed. Now this road leads down to Nahalm Beach which is roughly two kilometers. I've actually clocked it on the PCX and it's saying just over one kilometer but the sign says two kilometers there. But that is the road that leads down to the beach. Now this road going that way leads to Rowai and then this road at this junction leads up and into Nahalm. Now as you start to go into Nahalm itself you're going to see a lot of shops, bars, restaurants. As you can see in the distance there there's a dive shop, pizzeria here, there's a bar. This bar here that we're looking at now that has the girl hostesses in. You're going to find some of the bars in Nahalm will have the girl hostesses and some of the bars don't so you've got a good mixture so if you're coming over here as a single guy and those are the type of the bars you're looking for you can find them in the Nahalm area however if you're coming over here as a family and you want to avoid those type bars then you can also find the more family orientated bars as well and of course there's also a lot of massage shops within this area so if this is something you are looking for treat yourself to a Thai massage, oil massage, hot stone massage maybe waxing whatever it may be that you're looking for you're definitely going to be able to find it here in Nahal. I can even see that they do hot yoga I think there's a Muay Thai uh, training facility around here somewhere as well now we're starting to come in more of the main area or what I would call the main area of Nahal. you can see dive shops tattoo shops, massage shops, there's a motorbike rental shop so really a good choice when it comes to hiring either a scooter, car, bicycle, lots and lots and lots of restaurants, money exchanges, you're going to find them all over the place, there's travel shops if you want to book a trip to maybe one of the islands or a different destination outside of Phuket. Quite a few mini marts, family marts in front of me, the 7-Elevens. Now if you're wondering where you can find ATM machines, most of the mini marts that you will find such as Family Mart or the 7-Eleven normally have ATM machines outside or next door to the actual mini mart. And there's quite a few scattered around Nahalm, so you're not going to have any problems if you want to, to withdraw out of your own bank, cash card, whatever you may have. You're going to find plenty of ATMs around this area. In my opinion, Nahalm has as much on offer as anywhere else on the island. Lots and lots of nice restaurants to dine at in the evening. a French pancake for the gap got a really nice seating area at the back as well great little place here for Mexican food very very good prices on Mexican food here of course it's closed at the moment this doesn't open till later in the evening time now if you're looking sorry cab now if you're looking for a place for breakfast then I can recommend the Breakfast Hut. I have eaten here in the past. It has been a while ago but they do a very good breakfast here at a very reasonable price. Okay well I've actually just gone in and spoken to the lady owner. 
they actually only do breakfast and lunch they're open until three o'clock in the afternoon so they don't do any evening food but this is a great place if you're coming and you're looking for breakfast maybe an English breakfast or an American breakfast as you can see there they've got pancakes breakfast big breakfast set omelets etc they do really good stuff for breakfast I've also just spotted this burger restaurant I haven't tried this in fact I didn't know this was here burger me so this is a place that I'm gonna have to try because I do like my burgers now there are quite a few small restaurants where you can eat at in Nahum so this is great if you're on a budget now when it comes to accommodation Nahum offers an awful lot of choice of course, on top of all the larger hotels that are situated in Nahar, you do have smaller accommodation as well that you can choose from. Maybe you're looking for a private home, private residence, villa. You should be able to find something in Nahar that's going to be suitable for your taste. Now this is just one of the bars that does have girl hostesses working in them. There are quite a few in a home which I'm going to try and show you. They're spread about so they're not all in one area. There is an area where you can find some but there are quite a few that are spread around a home. So it's just a case of traveling around if that's something you're looking for and discovering all the bars. Now as we make our way further along this road you're going to find even more accommodation, more restaurants, more hotels, there's going to be more massage shops more of everything actually that's one thing that I really like about this area there is a lot of facilities of course Nahar is a great base to work from it's very convenient to get up to other parts of the island from Nahar so a really good spot if you're thinking somewhere to stay on Phuket you don't want to be in Patong you've looked at Kata you're not sure personally I think Nahar has a lot to offer the tourists Okay, this crossroad here, if you take the left turning where that car is just coming out from now, that will take you to Kata, turning right, going towards Shillong. Okay, what we're going to do now is make our way into what I call the main area of Nayarm, and this to me is the main part. Again, this area you're going to find a lot of shops, mini marts, restaurants, there's massage shops along here if that's something you're looking for. Plenty of those, accommodation, Nahum Resort, Green Valley Resort there, pharmacies, little places to eat, stalls, cheap places, souvenir shops here, there's property shops if you're looking to buy in the area, large massage shop there. Now there's quite a few dive shops in this area as well. So again, if this is something you're interested in trying out, now this particular shop, as you can see, has actually got their own little pool that they do, I presume, practice dives in there to get you accustomed to diving if you've never done it before. If this is something you're interested in knowing about, then please do drop me a comment in the section below. Plenty of massage shops, as you can see, there's another one here. Phone shop, salon, beauty salon, hairdressers, whatever you want to call it and a small restaurant next door. Now what I'm going to do is make my way just up here to the small area of bars. Now this area here on the main road that runs through the centre of Nahum going down towards Kata, this area has a cluster of bars inside. I can only film it in the daytime because of YouTube's current regulations on what they class as adult content. Of course there's nobody in these bars at the moment, they're empty. But of an evening time you're going to find girl hostesses in these bars. There's also an area across the road directly opposite. Again, very much the same. A cluster of bars inside, they all have girl hostesses. So if you're coming out to Nahar as a solo traveller or a group of male friends and this is something that you're looking for, then this is the area that you can find it in Nahar. Of course, there are some other bars scattered around that will have girl hostesses working in them, but this is the main part of Nahar that you're going to find the girls in the bars. Now we are probably at the furthest point away from the beach. This is towards the top end of Nahum before you go into Shillong. Again, as you can see, 
there's a choice of restaurants across the road, all the way up the road, money exchange. There's a, quite a large bar over there that's a family orientated bar. As far as I know, there's no working girls in there. A lot of tourists visit that bar. In fact, yesterday I noticed it was quite busy. Further up this road, on the left hand side, there is an English fish and chip shop, which is uh, quite unusual to see over here. It's only a small shop, but I've heard, heard again some really good reviews on the fish and chips from there. Now one thing I have noticed here in Nahom, they don't actually have their own petrol station. There are a few petrol stations that are quite close to Nahom, but if you need to get fuel and you're in Nahom, you have a scooter or a car, you can use these petrol pumps that they have. This is the second one that I've seen. There's one further down towards the beach area. Also, there's plenty of laundry places. If you want to do your own, there's a few of these places where you can just pay and do your own washing. Or, of course, there are quite a few laundry shops that will do it for you. Plenty of water machines if you want to have the larger bottles and fill it up yourself. These machines, of course, use the Rio osmosis, but it is the equivalent to, say, the UK's tap water. But this is quite a cheap way of getting water buying larger quantities of it you can get a five litre bottle in there no problem and fill it up across the road you can see lots more small restaurants here to choose from we've got one there doing classic Isan food Thai and European food and next door to that it looks like they do chicken steaks, pastas, burgers. Further up you've got a massage shop, there's a wine shop. If you follow this road going in this direction that will take you back towards Shillong and then of course if you follow the road in the opposite direction that will then take you down to the turning that we saw that one goes to Kata or you can turn left and go down to Nahon Beach and further into the other part of Nahon. Well I hope you've enjoyed today's video looking at Nahon and if so please do remember to give it a thumbs up and share it on your social media. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel then please do consider subscribing. If you're interested in finding out more about Phuket and Thailand in general then this is a great place to start. I try to upload content as regular as I can covering all different subjects to do with not only Phuket but Thailand as a whole. If you enjoy my content and you want to buy me a coffee you can actually do this now if you look down in the description I've got a link there to buy Tony a coffee that money will then go towards either a coffee or back into the channel to make more videos of course if there's videos that you want to see on my channel please post down in the comment section and I will do my best to make those videos happen so as always thanks for watching and until next time I'll catch you on the next one